Anchors up, sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? I am not going to complain. Kyle, we did this episode once last year. I think we did it last year. Maybe we did it two years ago, but we, we wanted to bring it back. Was it last year or was it two years ago? Do you remember? I don't remember. One of the two. It all, One of it the all, two. It all, it all starts to roll together after a while. But we'll do it again because it was fun the first time. And of course, lots of things have changed since then. Kyle, this is the state of the program tier list. The state of the program tier list. Let's talk about what this is. Let's talk about what this is. All right. This is the overall health and status of a football program. This is not how good you've been the past few years. This is not how good, although that that will play into it. This is not how good are you going to be just this next year, although that will play into it. Does this go into how good you are at cheating? It can. Okay. It can. Um, So this is not a, you know, we'll, we'll talk about like what a team has been like the past three years. And we'll probably talk about what a team will be like for the next three years. And I think we just kind of have to weigh the health of a program right now. So I, I think a good way of looking at this is like, What can a team accomplish over the next three to four years? I think is, I think is the framing for this. All right. What, what can a team hope to achieve over the next three years? So with that, let's get over to our tier list. All right. Before we go into the, each of the teams, let's, let's break out to each, let's break out each of the definitions here. Right. Yeah. So we're going to start with the S tier. S tier, I think, is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Serious national contenders. These, these are your, this is your, your Georgias, your Ohio States, in my mind here. So that's, that's your, that's your serious national co- title contenders. We'll just, we'll just go ahead. And uh, slide those two, zo- two over <laughs> right now. A tiers, A tier national title contenders. So they have a chance. They're talented enough to be a national title con contender but there's notable flaws there's ifs about the team if this happens um what would be a a good example of alabama um alabama would be a good one how how there's no doubt with saban with with saban gone yeah yeah i I think this is are they a good are they a national title yes yes they are definitely a national title contender but if if they if with a coaching changeover they can keep the momentum they've had, or at least get close to the momentum, you know, even if they're at ninety percent of Nick Saban, that's still one of the best programs in the country. It, um, it is, yeah. And I think we'll go ahead right. and slide Michigan into there as well. Fresh off of a national title. Okay, we're, okay. Kyle's gonna fight me on that. Kyle's gonna fight me on that. All right, B tier, expected to make the playoffs. Uh, there, there, I think there, I think, I think you could put, put Michigan. We're going to, we're going to fight it. We're going to gonna have a fight. We're going to have a fight about Michigan. <laughs> okay. Uh, fine, but fine. I think this you is Penn state. Like Penn state. Okay. I that, think that's, this that's is, a, that's this a good is Penn example. State. Yes. I think this is also Ole Miss. I think this, these are teams okay. who you right. can expect to make the playoffs, but not necessarily expect to go all the way and win the national title. All right. Good enough. I mean, there's, there's 12 this year. There's twelve, so it's 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 not like oh make the playoffs. Yeah, not what it used to be. That's that's four. That that's four in the past. That yeah, uh, C tier capable of making the playoffs. So good enough teams. Um, I, I think this could be like a maybe this... maybe we'll fight about it. Like a USC, good good enough. They're good enough to make it, but. I don't think they're expected to make the playoffs. Maybe, maybe I, they're kind of USC is kind of a border BC. I would say um, good enough to make the playoffs on occasion. Um, I, I think a good Oklahoma, example, like Oklahoma, I think Oklahoma is a good example. Yeah. I think Oklahoma is a good example. Um, middle left, middle left. There we go. 
select one. There you go. Yeah. yeah there so we go. capable capable of making the playoffs is is the C. Yeah. Uh, and, D, you know, yeah, we need to go into detail in Oklahoma. Yeah, D D expected to be bull eligible. Yeah. So this so you, this would be You are expecting uh well you how about Minnesota? We don't expect uh, Jared them going to... after his golden gophers. I'm putting him in D tier. Jared's golden gophers. He 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 did it. He I, did put, it. Put him in D tier, Kyle. <laughs> this is a team that you don't. This is but, not a team but, who you think even on their high but, year is going to make but Jared, the playoffs. But Jared, yeah. You you picked them out though. You could have picked anybody else that could have been in D tier, and you picked. Your and I put him. And I put him in D tier. All right, I'm just. Pointing out that you you okay. went Kyle, after and Kyle, picked them up. <laughs> Kyle, we don't we don't have time for this. Um, and then and then F tier is they're happy to go five hundred. This is going to be like where everyone else goes essentially. Yeah. So, uh, Indiana. Sure. All right. All right. Let's 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 go ahead and jump into it here. So SEC. Northwestern. Let's, let's start. Let's let's start. Let's start with the SEC first, Jared. All uh, right. All right. We're we're gonna we're gonna go alphabetical order here. So uh, Alabama. Oh, we already have Alabama in A tier. So there you we go. Will, we'll we'll keep them at A tier there. All right. Uh, Arkansas. Arkansas. Um. Where where is Arkansas? I mean, they're like a. I don't expect them to really ever make the playoffs over the next like four years. Yeah. So they're going to be either D or M M slash F, whatever you choose to, to frame it. Um, so last year, last year, Arkansas went four and eight, one and seven in the, uh, in the SEC conference. Yeah. Um, Dare I say? Dare I say they should go into the F tier? Happy to go five hundred. They went I, four and eight last year. Uh, they are fifty-two. They have a fifty-two percent win percentage. Uh, over the last three years. Uh, that's, that's an M tier. Right. That's an M tier. All right, Auburn. Auburn is the next one here. Last year, Auburn went three and five, six and seven, in their overall. I, I think. I think this would be. I think, yeah, that's that's, that's fair an enough. They're over the last three years. They're sub five hundred. That's an automatic M. Yeah, and unless and, and again, we, we also have to project forward. So if if this is a situation where, yeah, they suck right now, but there's a lot of reason for hope, then maybe we can talk about elevating them up a level. But I, I don't see that, that in Auburn I, territory. Florida is the next one here. Then I have a good season last year. Went five and seven, three and five in in conference here. I think. Do they have any yeah, they, reason for hope right now that they're going to get out of this sub five hundred slump that they've been in? Over the past three years, Florida is forty four percent. Ooh, yeah, that, that's they are be... seventeen and twenty one. Every last three years, if I I meant to say three, if I didn't say three, I was trying to th- I was trying to think of a good reason to put them in C tier, but man, it's hard to uh, it's hard to put them in. You're you're being blinded by their now. branding. You're being blinded yep, by their you're branding. Right. You're right. Georgia, we've what already they, what, did, what did they what did they add this year that would help elevate? They them? lost did their I, best running back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel fine putting him in M. No, oh, it's it's where they belong. Georgia right, already placed one, Kentucky. Yep. Kentucky had a had an odd season last year. Late, I think they did like, didn't they start off like red hot and then tapered off? Yeah, that's what it was. They started off five and zero. Oh, yeah. But then went uh. Then went two and six, their last eight games. 
They're barely yeah. over 500 over the past three years. That's not that's that's not fair. Uh, they're 61 percent over the past three and years. So they're, they're they're not capable. They're not capable of making the playoffs. So they're deep. I agree. LSU. LSU is such a frantic team. They they can be they so they far up or so far down. Um, I mean, they're realistically I, only 65% over the past three years, but I, I think they have a lot of positive I, momentum. I think I think they're a C. I think they're a C. Capable of making the playoffs. They, they lost a lot of talent here. I just, I don't know. I don't know much about LSU of them being a, that, they should make the playoffs, essentially. I know. Didn't I know, you like last in year, our yes. projections claim? I mean, in, in in your defense, it was a wild prediction show. In your defense, so it was a wild yeah. prediction. But you did say that they were going to win the SEC this year. I did. You you sure I did. did? I sure did. But it was. But in your defense, it was a wild prediction. Like it wasn't a. It was a wild prediction. It's not a thing you said was absolutely going to happen. It was a thing that was a wild prediction. Mississippi State. I gotta uh, put them like a M. M. Yeah. yeah I, yep. you make a case for them not to be an M. I dare you. Yes. Uh, Missouri. I think Missouri actually returns quite a quite a few uh, players. From what I remember here, I think Missouri's uh, big thing is keeping their coaching staff together. I think if they can yeah. keep that crew together. Yeah, they're going to be that. Yeah, they're a solid C, solid C. I, would I, say so too. I couldn't put them in the B, B tier right now, but they, they, they had one hell of a story last year. They, they did. They absolutely did. But and and we'll see if they can keep it up. I think if, if they if Missouri has a, another season this next year, the way they had last year. I think you could see them as like a B tier team if we rerun this next year. They, and they have a very, very favorable uh, schedule this year. Yes, but they, again, this is more of a overall health of the program and not just a like I'll what are it. they yeah, yeah. capable of doing this year? Yeah. So see, I think C, I think C here is because is, again, suffice. It, yeah, I think it's a team with this is kind of what I was talking about before about a team with positive momentum. If you look at their last three years, they've only won 59% of their games, and that's heavily, heavily buoyed by last year. But they're a team with positive momentum. The health of the program is good. I think it's a good example of why a team with only 59% wins over the past three years is actually a C. It's why I'm over-explaining it. I think it's a very good example of a team uh, overshooting their performance over the past three years. Yeah. All right. Uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma already put as a C tier there. Yeah. Uh, Ole Miss, Ole Miss is next here. And we already placed them at B. We did place them at B. Yeah. Uh, South Carolina, South Carolina put them in, in F They're Nothing, nothing positive is coming from uh, from the Gamecocks here. So, no. Uh, Tennessee, all all that talent, all that talent, and nothing to show for it. Uh, I mean, twenty seven and twelve over the past three years. It's not bad. Um, I. I would, I'd still put Tennessee as C. Yeah, no, 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 hundred percent. Hundred percent. Can they make the playoffs? Sure, they're they're talented enough, but that's. It. I also would say that, and while Tennessee and Tennessee fans might say, "No, we expect to make the playoffs," I, I I don't think that that's the expectation from outside the program or from outside the fan base. Yeah. Texas A and M. Speaking speaking of talented teams, uh, Texas A and M. I'm going to put them at D, to be honest. You put them at D. It's so weird because I almost want to fight you on this and say they should be <laughs> C because they do have an insane amount of talent. They do, but just look at the loss that they've I, had with 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 the players and the recruiting. No, no, 
Oh, notice how I said I want to transfer portal. Notice how I say I want to fight you on this, but that I didn't actually do it. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, so yeah, D is fine. Uh, Texas. Texas. I, I. Gosh, I'm. Dare I say S? S. S. Yes. I, I think they're. I think that they are my favorite to win the SEC. Are they still doing East and West? No. No? All right. They're, no, they're no. One, they are one of my two favorite teams. It's them in Georgia to win the SEC is what I'm trying to say. Fair I, I it's, it's them in Georgia to win the SEC. Um, then they, I, I, I would say they're... They are one of the best teams in the country this year. They are capable of winning the national title this year. And they're recruiting yes. incredibly well. I know that they do. I think they I th- think they're poised to lose a lot of talent after this season, but I think they'll be fine. Like I think they're recruiting really well. They they could be successful, very successful over the next couple of years. Yeah, if I look at the 2024 class, they they actually they finished sixth. I, well, I guess sixth is I great. Guess technically, could still go on. They're they're sixth right now in the twenty twenty four class. They well, no, twenty twenty four is over. Unless you sign an Aussie punter, the twenty twenty four class is over. Oh, um, yeah. All right. Um, next, we have Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt uh, F, and then we can end the SEC right there. Okay. So the SEC, any, we got we any got argument that Vanderbilt Georgia, could be D. No, I'm kidding. Georgia, Georgia, Texas are your two S tiers. Alabama, your lone A, and then Ole Miss, your lone B. So, from what I'm taking of this this list here, Jared, you got two, you got two just you got two just teams that is going to be stellar this year. And then you have Alabama, and then a big drop from there. I I like Ole Miss. I, I don't I love do. Ole Miss. When I say I like Ole Miss, I mean I like Ole Miss to make the playoffs. I think they're capable sure. of being one of the top 12 teams this year. Sure. That's, that's not a horrible drop-off in my opinion, but okay. Uh, big 10 next? Yep, Big 10 after we take a quick break here. And if you uh, do not want these ads here, uh, c- come on over to patreon.thesoulcast.com, become a patron, and to yeah, to bypass all of these ads. So we'll take a quick break and be right back. Awkward silence over and or ads over, depending upon which feed you're listening to. Um, are we going alphabetical again? Yep, we're going to go alphabetical, which is really odd because the it first... It starts with I. The first... It starts with ah, I. Have, yes. I've never pl- put that together before, and that is very weird. <laughs> Illinois, Illinois is alphabetically first in the Big Ten. It is even even with the new additions. This, this is this is why we need to add Cal. This this if for no other reason is why we have to add Cal. Okay, Illinois F. Let's not waste yeah. time. No. Yeah, no no questions. Indiana F as well. I already put them in. They were the first team I put in F, which by the uh-huh, way, for anyone did, who's yes. listening, Kyle and I are using M and F interchangeably. We're, we're Ohio state fans. We made F M because it's, it's funny because Michigan, you know, you, you get it. But uh-huh, it's, funny. it's for anyone who's just listening and not watching it. F and M are the same tier. Iowa. Iowa. They, they, I, they, would you they be can actually, bored? Would you absolutely offense. be? Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. They can actually maybe play offense now. Now that they get rid of, uh, <laughs> they can actually play offense. Junior Ferentz. That they, yes. I would not be shocked, and this is this isn't me complimenting Iowa as much as it is me um, disrespecting the rest of the Big Ten West. Yes. Wait, but they're not doing the Big Ten. That's West right. We're not doing the Big Ten West anymore. What am I thinking? Yeah. Oh, um. There, okay. There's so, there's so, but still. Hold but on. Still, I was ready to program, put them in C. Program as a whole. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, but if your if your program is playing other Big Ten West teams, that makes it easier <laughs> to get into the playoffs. But there is no more Big Ten West. There isn't. Ooh. Iowa might have to play some actual teams this year. Yeah, who, who do they play here? Okay. <laughs> overall health of the program. I, uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think the program is that bad. Well. I almost Parents feel could like I almost retire feel... at any point. Yeah, I I feel like I feel like we need to have like a D plus or something, and that's where Iowa goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm struggling with Iowa. They're the honestly, they're, just they're because, the anti Texas A and M. Yeah, honestly, they aren't talented, their... but yet they always put good seasons together. Honestly, because of like how well they've done recently, I mean they. They've had a they had a ten win season last year. That's the thing. Um, yeah, they had a ten win season in twenty one. Uh, not going to count twenty twenty. No. They had a ten win season in twenty nineteen. Like it's it's not a bad like I I feel like you should keep them in C, capable of making the playoffs. Probably not, but are they capable? A ten a ten win season gets you talk gets you talks about it. That is, I I'm, I've never been more I've this that is the this is the most conflicted placement we've had so far because I really don't feel like they are good enough to be in C yet. Twenty eight and but thirteen the over the past three years. But the title of this episode, the state know, of the program. I know. Listen, I'm I'm just you arguing with myself them. at this point. I don't like right. it. I don't like putting Iowa at C, but it's the right place to put them. All right. Uh, the Terpins are next. The Terps. Um, I, I, I think it's a pretty big compliment at this point to maybe say. Uh, yep. Are they D? Put them in D. Yep. 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 So they're, they're, they're they are also yeah. they're also the anti Iowa. Because I my thinking is, hey, now that they're not having to play in the Big Ten East anymore, that maybe they actually have an opportunity to. They're not going to make the playoffs, though. But they, they have not won more than eight games. I'm still going back in years. I'm in 2014, and they still have not won more than eight games. I I know. I'm so. just I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm just kind of torn between D and F. That's all. Gotcha. They're <clears throat> expected to be bowl eligible. Yes. Okay. I, I think I think that is where Maryland belongs. Yes. Michigan. To me, they are a tier. The definition of A tier, to reiterate, national title contender, but has a notable if or flaw. So, the notable what is if. The notable fl- yep. Well, it's a notable if. The notable if is that they are in the middle of a coaching change. Yep. Coaching if change they survive the coaaching change and, and losing and an insane many, amount of and, talent. An insane, insane amount of talent. amount of players he- heading out of which means Michigan. that they're going to be very bad this year. But this isn't just about the 2024 season. I think fresh off of a national title and yes I know asterisks 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 on the national title. I I understand. But for right now it is a national title. Maybe it'll get vacated later, but for right now it's a national title. They're fresh off of a national title and they have some big question marks, most notably replacing their head coach. But it would feel disingenuous to put them down at B fresh off of a national title win, which for now is a legitimate national title. We're we're missing the big thing, Jared. They they belong in M tier. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, but... Again, if we're trying to do this correctly, I believe they belong in A tier. All right, moving on. Uh, their big brother, Sparty. 
Big Brother Sparty. M tier is correct, by the way, says Odin. All right. Uh, I mean, M tier? Their coach just got fired. They didn't have a great yeah, season. It's, yeah. Ugh. The, the, the state Down, of the downwards, program is downward not good. Spiral. Downward spiral of Michigan State. Yeah. 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 I, I, I cannot think of a, a reason. Yeah. Move on. To put them up. Yeah. I agree. Move on. They're, they're, they are where they belong to be. Okay. Uh, Nebraska. Jared already put their gold. Uh, Jared already put their golden go. His golden gophers in D tier. Uh, Nebraska. Nebraska has not been good at all since they. They rightfully since they've been in the Big Ten. They rightfully belong in M tier based off of their performance. Yes. However, given coaching changes. Given that they just signed who is arguably the best quarterback in the class. They have Dylan Rayola coming. They have a brand new NFL level coaching staff. I think there's reason for hope here. They have not. We have we have to mix we have to mix past and future here. I'm about to I'm about to fight you on this one. I, I think they should be an M tier. I think they should be an M tier because if I'm looking, the state if you look of, at the, oh, pa- if I look at the state of the program that they are right now, Kyle, they have not. If you're going won, to try, if they, they have look, not won, they have not won more than five games. Yeah, you listen, they have not won more than five games since 2016. You are presenting, you are presenting years. a logical argument, and and logically speaking, you're correct. But you're, be, um, you're, they, you're, they, they should be um, your they should argument. Be F, they should be in that bottom tier. Your argument is based in logic, and I appreciate you for that. And my, I'm putting them in F tier in my list. My argument is coming from a place of emotion, which is that they have a lot of positive momentum, and there is a ton of hope around the program right now. I, I think I think they're giving them too much credit just because of the logo. No, it has nothing to do with the logo. I don't I don't care about their logo. This has to do with signing the best quarterback in the country and having one of the absolute best hires in in college football coaching this year. I don't agree, but you can keep him a D. I don't agree with it. But. Again, we're talking about the state of the program. We're talking about the health of the program. They just got a really like insane injection of hope. All right. I think expectations are up because of it. All right, we're going to move on here. Um, I, I guess I'll just mark him D here. Uh, Northwestern, I, I, I think they I already go in have F tier. I already have them. You, in, you do yeah, have yeah. them there. Yep. Uh, Ohio State, we already have an S tier. Penn, uh, oh, missed one. Oregon, new, new, new face. Oregon in the Big Ten here. They're S or A. A, A. I'm going to put them A. With the talent that they had last year, if they had the talent they had last year, I put them in S. But I I feel confident in putting them in A tier. They, I they, feel they, good they, about they, putting they, they them. They have they have a lot of talent, but there's notable ifs in here, to me, and that's why by definition they would go in the A tier. I think that Oregon is capable of winning the Big Ten this year. And I think you're looking at an Ohio State team who will be losing a ton of talent at the end of this season, leaving the door wide open for a, another top-tier team to take over for at least a year. I think Oregon is incredibly capable of winning it all over the next three to four years. Now you could say if tell me do, if can you, can you name it? Can you, you name saying, me their, their quarterback? Uh, they just signed two of I I I, mean, I can't do name recognition right now. My ADHD is terrible today, but they just signed like two of the best quarterback portal guys this offseason. The one guy from Oklahoma whose name I can't remember. 
Um, Gabriel? Yes, Gabriel. Thank you, Austin. Um, and, and didn't they also get the guy from UCLA? Um, they got two of the best portal quarterbacks this year. Dante Moore. Yes. Thank you for the help chat. I get that right now, if we're, if we were just talking about 2024, we could very easily say a tier because the big if is replacing Bo Nix. Yep. But we're not just talking about 2024. We're talking about the overall state of the program. And I think that they are well positioned to be title contenders for the next couple years. I think they belong in S. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Penn State, you already put them in B tier, and I think that's fine. Uh, Purdue. <laughs> I think they are the B, B tier team. I think Penn State is yeah. the gold standard of the B tier. Um, Purdue F. Yeah, slash F. F. I, I can't. Yep. yep. Uh, same with Rutgers F. Washington is a tough one. Because I almost want to reason, fight you because, on Rutgers. Because of the recent success with Washington, it's hard for me to put them at A, that they're a national contender, but I feel that Washington should be a B tier. They are, I think they can make the play. I think they, yeah, maybe C. No, I, I think, whoa, I think B. you're going I think B. nuts. Yeah, I, let's go with B, ex, expected to make the playoffs for, for Washington. Kyle, I, this is a team that, was in the playoffs last year when making the playoffs was actually crazy hard yeah. to do that. that yeah, I, I, being, I would say B. they are a national, if they can, they, they are to me just, I mean, of course they're not as a program, they're not Alabama, but if they can survive their coaching change, they were a national title contender last year. If they can survive their coaching change, which is, this is what a tier is. It's a national title contender, but with a big if on it. Austin, I hear you, but that's literally the definition of a tier. National title contender, but has a notable flaw or if. That is by definition Washington right now. They were just a national title contender. They lost their coach. That's a notable if. They lost their entire offensive line, starting receivers. So the question is, do they have enough talent? Do they have enough oomph as a program to have a down year in 2024, which we're all expecting to happen? I, I agree but with Austin here. Be overall a strong enough program to recover and be back in the national title hunt in a couple years. This is about what you're capable of doing over the next three to four years, right? I I say no. I I, I disagree, I, I, but I I, th I think they should be in B tier. I I yeah. disagree with that sentiment, but yeah. All right, uh, Washington, uh, Washington. We just talked about Washington, Wisconsin. LSU and C is crazy talk, says Austin. Um, we have C as capable of making the playoffs, but not expected to make the playoffs. Do you still agree, Austin? That those are our definitions. LSU is literally Penn State. <laughs> That's true. I have a hard time disagreeing with that sentiment, Kyle. And but by LSU the way, has Nick Saban at, at least one no, thing. And also no more Nick Saban. Like, honestly, if we're talking about the health of the program, not having Nick Saban right there has to factor into that. Maybe. Yeah. I think Austin's right. Yeah. All right. Um gotta we gotta move on here. Um Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin is at this point it's it's D. Um expected to be bowl eligible. They're not capable of making the playoffs yet. So I I cannot put Wisconsin in C. I cannot. I they they are very D plus to me. Cause yeah. I do think Fickle is doing good things there this year. Part of the problem well, is yeah. is that the Big Ten just got a lot harder to play in. Yeah. All right. Uh, UCLA. Where, where do you want to put them? D or F? I don't know. 
Uh, I think they rightfully should be in D if they hadn't just lost Chip Kelly, but they did just lose Chip Kelly. Yeah. Um, I, they, they did just, uh, we'll put them in D. We'll put them in D. All right. And then uh, USC. I, I almost want to put USC in B. I think USC in B. They, they have the talent. I think they're, I, I think they're going to be right there and to making the playoffs there. So yeah, I say B expected to make the playoffs versus capable of making the playoffs is man. They are USC went seven and five and lost their generational quarterback. Can you please put generational in quotations for me, Austin? Thanks. Um, They they are such a C plus B minus team. I if whatever we need to move forward, but I don't feel I I, I you you could put them in C, you could put them in B. I wouldn't fight anyone either way on that. Um, All right, ACC next. Yeah, and uh, before we do the ACC, let's go to commercial. Um, if you can avoid these commercials by going to patreon.thesloopcast.com and signing up for a $3 tier, which is only $32 a year, you get a little bit of a discount if you pay for the whole year up front. But again, it's only $3 a year um, and you get to avoid these ads. You get premium access to the Discord server. You get early access to episodes. Uh, you get a lot of cool benefits over at patreon.thesloopcast.com. Uh, here is that ad break now. Okay, Kyle. Um, let's. I want to speed. I'm, I think we. I want to think. I want to speed round. Uh, funny story during the ad break, Jared. Uh, well, the ad break isn't very long. People should totally buy the patron Patreon. Uh, I agree, Austin. Thank you, <laughs> Austin. Uh, maybe our longest tenured patron. I, I'd have to actually look up numbers on that, but longest continued patron very well could be austin probably probably all right uh so let's speed around the big 12 and the acc kyle all right let's let's go ahead and do the uh let's go ahead and do the acc um i don't have them in alphabetical order i'm just going to go I, in that's fine order, i'm just going to go in order of how how they did last year so we're going to start from the we'll start from the bottom here wake forest f uh, well, you, you already stated the, your bottom of the acc f <laughs> Yep, Virginia. F. Pittsburgh. Um. F. Yeah, I no, I just because they were they were good <laughs> when they had Pickett, but they were only good because of Pickett. Syracuse. F. All right, Boston College. F. Uh, I think you can put them in D. They're, they they're just, on that. They. Yeah, except that they just lost their head coach because he decided he'd rather be an offensive coordinator in the NFL. Right. If it weren't for Halfley leaving. Syracuse did get McCord, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Miami is next. Okay, well, you on. like put MSU or... I know, I accidentally grabbed SMU. SMU, hold on. I'll fix it, I'll fix it, I'll fix SMU it. Can probably just, just start talking. Anyway, but... Start. Well, uh, okay, uh, you know what? Actually, Miami... that's a fair point, uh, SMU. Because <laughs> they're not going to uh, be on your um, ACC list. All right, Miami. State of the Union for Miami. I... I, I got to... Miami should be B, says Austin. Absolutely not. Expected yeah, they, to they, make the playoffs? No way. Capable they of making capable, the playoffs. Capable yeah. of making the playoffs? Sure. Well, we're not doing sure. based on talent alone. Do you see where Texas A&M is? They're C I think, at I think correct. C, I think I think C I think C is um is appropriate for them. Uh Blue Devils. Duke. F. Uh, yeah. But yeah, they, they've, hold on. Yeah, you're, you know, he's right. He's right. They've, they've had, they've had some good year. They've had some good years. Over the but... past three years, they are two games above 500. Uh, 
over the past three years? Oh, I guess gosh, I guess that twenty twenty one season really hurt them then. Okay, so you're saying there's were, a... twenty 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 two they were nine and four and last year they were eight and five. So I, I put him in D. Positive I put him mo- in D bull 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 eligible. Well, bull okay, eligible. You know what? Positive momentum is a program. Yeah. Gaining some ground. Okay. Uh, as Austin uh, pointed out, they did North, just hire Manny Diaz. All right, North Carolina. I think North Carolina lost a lot of talent. I don't. I don't think they are capable of of uh, making the playoffs. So they are not. that puts them to D. Clemson. I, I think Clemson's a C. I think Clemson's a C. They I, capable? Are they expected? Yeah. Here's uh, here here's the thing. But to, uh, but, uh, hold, 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 hold. but to be fair though, here's the thing. How many how many guarantee spots does the ACC get? Yeah, yeah, you're reading my mind. <laughs> now this won't start for like another two years though, right? The the expanded fourteen isn't happening if it happens. That's not even official yeah. yet. Yeah, we might not even have an ACC by then. Uh, maybe. Um, as of right now, as of right now, yes, I think C, capable of making the playoffs, sure. Expected, not not from what we've seen the past few years. No. I I agree. Uh, Virginia Tech. The only reason I was uh, going to even maybe make the case for them at B is because the ACC sucks. If they were in the SEC Virgin- or Big Ten, game over. Virginia Tech. Uh, D F. I'm not sure where. I, they have to be an F. All right. I know they, they had a... Yeah. Uh, Georgia Tech, F. Yeah, Georgia uh, Tech gets an F. Wolfpack, I guess D. D is appropriate for the Wolfpack. Uh, Louisville. <sighs> Hold on. What you doing? Did you forget the wolf? No, I see the wolf pack. No. Uh, are are we? I don't. I don't. Why do I not have? What are they called? What are you looking here? for? What's their What's their record over the last three years? Who? Who? Uh, Georgia North Tech Carolina. Or NC State? North Carolina State. North. Oh, let's see. Last year they were nine and four. Twenty twenty two they were eight and five. Twenty twenty one they were nine and three going to skip 2020 2019 they were four and eight okay so i'm, are, I'm wrong are, they, they, they they are they are not capable of making the playoffs i'm sorry jared they're not they're, they're that puts them at d then okay i'm just not even going to talk about how i was thinking about putting them in f instead uh, but i was clearly wrong about that uh louisville Ooh, louisville is an interesting even, i don't case. even I don't even know about this year's Louisville team. Well, we're not talking about this year's Louisville team, luckily. <laughs> um, over the past three years, they are 60%. Would we say that, so clearly, at least D, are we saying they're capable of making the playoffs? And I kind of almost want to say yes, because the ACC is such shit. <laughs> they almost did. <laughs> they they did. Yeah. If they weren't in the ACC, I mean, because literally the yeah. definition is. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. It is what it is. Um, if they, I, I think Wisconsin's a better football team than Louisville, but just sometimes the nature in, of the competition you're playing against. Yep. And the last one of Florida State. I think just because of, I, I really like Florida State. I really do. I think they're A. I think they're A. Yeah. Um. There's some notable ifs in place. Um. Uh, yeah, I think they. I think they're yeah. in really good health as a program. They have some sanctions hanging over their heads right now, which I think are bullshit and should be lifted. That, but whatever. That, that was. They they yeah. have upheaval was, within their own conference right now. There's a lot of weirdness around Florida State. Yeah, but yeah, but that, that, was, think, that was real quick. 
That was real quick through that ACC there, Jared. All right, let's knock out the Big 12, and then we have some pluses right, we're, to we're, roll through. All right, we're, go- we're going to do the same thing because I'm, I'm too That's lazy fine. to put these in alphabetical order. Cincinnati... Oh, by the way, Kyle, we're not done with the ACC. You, you're done with last year's oh. ACC. We have Cal. <laughs> I forgot Cal. Uh, F. Yeah, and then Stanford F. And F. Yep, perfect. All right, now the now Big 12. Now we're ready for the Big 12. You tell me where we're going. Uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Cincinnati without Luke Fickle has not been great. Nope. What are What are their results the last two years? I don't care about three nice. years ago. What What have they done without Fickle? Because uh, we're, see, we're talking about the health of the current. Twenty twenty three, they were they were three nine. Twenty twenty two, they were nine and four. Wait a minute, but Fickle, well, Fickle, Fickle was not was. Wait a minute, when did? No, Fickle was not the coach. I'm I'm no. my years are blending together again. Um. So Cincinnati is a is a. At the at this stage right now, they're F. I would they're say F. so too. If if they get their coaching situ if they get a new coach, Fick left last last year only. No. Was is Fick was in well, just did his first year at Wisconsin, yes? Mm, really? Was it? I'm honestly not sure. Wow. Am I getting my years mixed up? I couldn't. No, I, no, no, he was there in 2022. So it no, is two years two in years. Wisconsin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's two years. Yeah. That's what I thought. So they had one good year without him and one good year with him in Cincinnati. But notably, the but, the bad yeah. one was the last one. Yeah. And moving to the Big 12, too. I don't know how much of a deal that is anymore, to be honest with you, but okay. Well, I mean, I mean, it shows like they, they were dead last. They only won one conference. Yeah, game. they don't have to play mm-hmm. Memphis anymore. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. Uh, Baylor. Moving on from the Bearcats to uh, the Bears. Uh, F. Sorry. Just don't apologize. They suck. Uh, BYU. Uh, F as well. BYU and F. Uh-huh. Does anyone want to make no, a case for them at D? No, we're we're gonna move on. Okay, everyone, everyone says yeah. Odin uh, literally uh, says uh, B- BYU might be lucky to go six and six, which is the definition of F tier. <laughs> yes. All right. I got, I got the, uh, I got the alphabetical. All right. Uh, uh, newcomer Arizona. They, I like the cost. I they, like. They, 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 and he did decide to stay, right? He did stay. He did because he went because he went into the portal. Yep. Uh, but I like they, him. I like them. But are I, they contenders though? But they did no. lose their coaching staff to Washington. But I do like I do like Arizona as an up and coming. But as a but they just lost their it, entire coaching staff to Washington. That is true. Yes. I, but, I, yeah, listen, I, I can't, yeah, they're, they're, they're not they're, a contender to be, they're a, they're a our, bottom, our definitions, they can't, they cannot go into C, C tier. No. Um, their rival, Arizona State, uh, F, F, uh, UCF. Super F. UCF, A and F. Um, it's hard because they're just coming up into a power conference. So we can look so at Cincinnati. Yeah. But Cincinnati made it to the playoffs. Um, maybe UCF should have, but that was more than like three or so years ago. Um, 60, only 60% win percentage against lower competition. Uh, They've gotten some good recruit classes, they, though. Yeah, are they well, though, Jared? Expect expected to make the, uh to be bowl eligible. Are they expected? 
it's it's hard because they're just playing in a power conference for the first time. I mean, we can yep, say yes. And- we can say yes, but it's they're they're real D minus F plus. All right. It's just hard uh, because their level of competition has changed so drastically. Colorado. This is such a weird. You, if you asked a hundred people, you would get answers all the way from S to F. So then we're putting him in F. <laughs> I'm saying there's, I don't know if there's another team. But until they actually prove it on the field, I don't see them making the playoffs, which makes them a they D were in four, my head. They were four and eight last year. Yeah, they were I know. Four and eight. I, listen, I agree with you. I'm not making a case that they should be anything above D. I'm just saying that their the perception of their of their program is incredibly eight, high. Eight of their last nine games. I'm not disagreeing with you, Kyle. And they do have some insane talent on that team. Are they expected? No. To be bowl eligible. No. Bowl eligible. No. Okay. I'm then, just right. saying. Then, then they should be F. Then they should be F. They expected to be bowl eligible. You said no, so they go to. Oh, F you said tier. bowl eligible. Yeah. I thought I. They're not expected. I I expect them to be bowl eligible this year. I don't because in 2022 they were one and eleven. They were four and eight um, three years ago. So they un uh, Austin's making some good points in the chat. Unlike UCF, they'll be facing lower level of competition this year. That's true. Because the Big Twelve sucks. Well, the Big Twelve, the Big Yep, yeah, Big Twelve sucks. Yeah. All right. Whatever. We're we're gonna move on. Um, Houston, F. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Houston. So uh, again, higher level of competition, and they're not as good as Cincinnati or or UCF has been. Iowa Iowa State is kind of that hybrid of D and F. I, 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 so are they? That's fine. I think they're, uh, they're pretty Kansas. solidly enough. Kansas. F? F, maybe a D. Yeah. Is it a D or is it an F? They they, they were ranked twenty third last year. I mean, yeah, but we can't just base it on is, last year. I mean, this is a team just three years ago who went two and ten. Yeah, uh, they're forty four percent over the past three years. They had a good year last year. Are they expected expected to be bowl eligible? Is the they'll, they'll be bowl eligible as long as they have their quarterback. Okay. Which then then okay, then that means that they're deep. But we answer it that way. But that's not the health of the program. That's the health of having that one guy. What happens when he leaves? Cause he's gonna leave. Kansas State, Kansas State, uh, they're they're a solid D. Uh, there's no, I don't think they're an F. They're they're D. Kansas State. Um. Okay. See, I guess the problem I'm having is like Kansas, Kansas State. These teams, I'll throw UCF and Arizona in there too. These teams are not nearly as good as Kentucky, Minnesota, Texas A and M, Wisconsin. We're going off of a, we're going off of our definitions here, though. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But all right, um, f- it's finishing just yourself real quick, real quick though. Um, Oklahoma State. Excuse me, Oklahoma State. Uh, they'll, they they'll are ball not. Ball. Yeah, they'll be they are not. A, yep. Yeah, they're, or yeah, they're, they're they're a D tier. Are they capable? 
Austin, are they capable of making the playoffs? They were in the Big 12 title game last year. No, that's true. Yeah, because the Big 12 would get one. So if they and there, who else is no he's right who else is gonna get it? Texas is gone. Oklahoma's gone. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to wrap wrap them up here so that the final teams are TCU, which I don't think TCU is that good. Uh, Texas Tech is an F. Uh, Utah and West Virginia. West Virginia is a DF. I don't care where you put them. Uh, it's between Utah and uh, and Oklahoma State. So, yeah, I think I think Oklahoma State and Utah you would put in C. And these Big Twelve and ACC teams are getting elevated. And it's then annoying. TCU would be TCU would be D or F. Well, they're expect. I think TCU is expected to. They finished pretty good last year. Yeah, I put them in D then. Yeah. And they were just in the playoffs a couple years ago, and they lost a lot of talent. But again, we, we need to focus on the overall health of the program. Yeah, they lost a lot of talent year before last, so they sucked at the beginning of last year, but they got better as the season went on. Um, hell, honestly, I kind of want to make them a C tier. They were just in the national title game two years ago. They play in a mm-hmm. subpar Big 12 and I think over yeah, the next three or four right. years, it's you're totally right. plausible that they come back. You're right. You're right. We we can't we can't overweight just having one bad year because it was just last year when it was just sort of the natural flow of things. It's one thing you're if right. you lose a generational quarterback or you lose your head coach and then you become bad versus you're right. You know, just the natural talent loss of college football. You're right. Um, right. um last, have, last ones here. Yep. I have a few pluses down here. Uh, let's right. start off with Notre Dame and independent. Um, um, I think based on ours expected B. to make the playoffs B. Yes. Yeah. They only, I only have to finish well in, in the new, new model, not this year's model. They only have, but they only have to finish in the uh, top 14 and they get an auto qualifier. Yeah. Uh, who do you got next here? Uh, the winner of the pack 12. The top two, yeah. <laughs> not not an auto qualifier. Uh, Oregon State was just very good. They'll be playing a lot of bad teams this year because they have a scheduling deal with the Mountain West. Oh boy. Um, that being said, winning the I don't I don't think as Boise proved. As Boise proved, um, winning actually, Oregon State doesn't have that bad of a actually Oregon State doesn't have that bad of a schedule. Yeah, that's that's kind of the point. Like it's 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 so not bad that I don't think that they make the playoffs even if they only lose two games. Yeah, and it's so, the same thing with Washington State. So they yeah, find their um, way to the ACC. I don't know. Just just to get out of the AC, just for the ACC to. Uh, to fall apart. If they find their way into the ACC, Austin, they'll find their way into an ACC that doesn't have Miami or Florida state or Clemson or North Carolina or Georgia tech. Like it'll be the dead remnants of the, of the ACC. Yeah. All right. Um, Washington state, uh, F Washington season. They weren't. uh, Okay. Uh, they, They were not. All that great. Okay. I don't feel like fighting about it. And then the last two, I, I don't care wherever you want to put them. <laughs> Liberty and, and Tulane. I mean, they're, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say they're capable of making. Well, actually, here's the thing the group of five do get an auto qualifier. Yeah, capable of God. That's just looking at that. You have all the way from Liberty, Oklahoma, you have Liberty all you the have way Liberty to Liberty above of Texas A and M. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is the this is the game we're playing right now with auto qualifiers and everything else. This is this is life right now. 
for better or worse. Yeah, um, looking at this list here, Jared, S, A, and B. We're, we're almost there. there. That's 13 teams there. That's a good point. We're almost at that 12, so. Well, but here's the thing. We are at that 12 because that 12th spot goes to a group of six team. Yeah, well, so, I'm saying in our Tulane S, A, and B, and, we, have, we have, oh, yeah, for 14. Yes. There, right, of of yeah. the power four, if that's what we want to call them, of the power four, only 11 get in. State of the program tier list, Kyle. Here it is. Any changes? Any adjustments? Welcome um, to college football. Welcome to college football. <laughs> oh boy, that that came in. Whoa, big. whoa, hello, welcome to <laughs> Coastal Carolina. Coastal Carolina. I'm gonna throw them in C too, because I feel like they're just as capable of as Tulane and Liberty. Why not? We'll toss them in there. I could probably throw uh, James Madison in here. Hello, James Madison. I'll throw James Madison in here because this this is life. Sorry, this is how college football works now, everybody. That's that's where James Madison gets to go. That's that's life. I honestly think this list is pretty fair. Well, I appreciate that. I, I think it is too. Um, again, I kind of hate that, but it's just the nature of how college football works now. But I kind of hate that, like Oklahoma and. Missouri and Miami and Clemson are all in the same tier with Oklahoma state and Liberty and coastal Carolina and JMU. It's, but that's, it's how college football works right now. That's just how college football works right now. Okay. That's it. That's our list. Um, I'm going to go back over to this screen. And Kyle, um, yes. Do you have I anything do. in Kyle's corner? How about those Columbus Crew? Columbus Crew. Columbus Crew doing doing great things. Uh, uh, they are what? Well, I guess I guess they've been splitting between MLS and the um in the tournament that they've been playing in. But yeah, no losses so far this year. So yeah, look, they're looking really good. Really good this year. Yeah. Um, is it Miami's year, though? But let's, let's just be honest. It's it's messy. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's messy. Messy. Is he making the entire MLS look bad right now? Is he showing yes. the MLS for I mean, what I mean, it is? I mean, for, for how, for him being on on the older side, he, he's still one of, if not the most talented. I know, but I'm just, I'm just saying he's kind of exposing the entire league right now. It's, it is what it is. I mean, look, look at Beckham, Beckham, when Beckham came over, he Beckham was even older though. And, and he's still embarrassed MLS. Yeah. And then Be- at, Beckham um, was nowhere Wayne near Rooney, and then Wayne Rooney when, when Rooney came over too. And he, embarrassed at MLS. It's just it's just another elite um right. but I player think... just another elite player getting ready to retire, doing one less hoorah of, of playing a few more um games and just making the MLS look bad. It's just it's just another player coming I over. know, but I think our expectations or our I think we like to think that the MLS has gotten better since those times. They have. They have. They're they're better than um, but, the Mexican league. But I'm when when Beckham came over, we knew the MLS was shit. And I think by the time Messi comes over, we were kind of thinking, hey, MLS isn't the total shit show that it used to be. But then he is maybe disproving that. Although I will once again say, Messi is much closer to his um, peak than Beckham was close to his peak and also say that Messi's peak is much higher than Beckham's peak ever was too. 
I think Beckham was, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he sucked, but I th- I always thought he was more of a brand than a player, or rather that his brand exceeded his talent. But whatever, we don't need to get into a whole soccer discussion. Anything else in Kyle's corner? Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> one one good thing about the one 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 good thing about the crew. This was, I forget when I heard it. I don't know if it was recently or weeks ago, but I remember reading something about how somebody asked about Messi and or talking to Messi and asking about the Columbus crew and um, them coming off of their, their title. And he said that he was, um, he said that he was impressed with uh, coach Nancy, like the way of, of his playing. Um, he, ha- he had a lot of good things to say about, about the crew though. So got, got some, got some good, uh, good feedback from, from Messi from one of the greats though. And, and the, the way the crew have been playing, though. So, so if, awesome. that, if that says anything, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens when they play. We'll see what happens. Yeah. When do they play? It's it's. I, I know. I know. Good luck trying to get um, <laughs> trying to get tickets though. Yeah. Uh, it is in July, July fourth. Oh boy. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that... that was last year's. Sorry, oh. sorry. That was last year's. <laughs> uh, Enter Miami versus Columbus. Wow, I cannot find it easy. Just go ahead, okay. go ahead and go ahead. And well, we're the ending episode. the episode. You guys know how to use Google. Maybe better than Kyle. Uh, so yep. that's it. That's the end of the episode. Tonight's ending music once again is from Doc Robinson, a uh, group out of Columbus. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support local podcasters. Once again, this is Doc Robinson. Mm-hmm.